K-State bounced back from its only defeat of the season with a vengeance in a dominant display of defense, offense, and special teams. K-State rolled the Missouri Tigers 66 to nothing. Allen coming up, makes a catch at the Missouri 45 to the 40. Allen skips his way, 35-30. Allen 25. Allen to the outside, 20, 15, 10. Allen brought that at the 8-yard line. David Allen almost brought that one back to the house. Long count. Runs the option to the near side of the field. Pitches it back to Murphy. Gets a block on a corner. Murphy 5 goes in. Touchdown! Kansas State. Frank Murphy in the option. Twins to the near side. Layman's in motion. Gage runs the option. Pitches it back to Gilmore. Wild pitch. Gilmore trying to get it in the end zone. Ball's loose. And Kansas State lands on a touchdown. Dyshawn Carter picks up a football in the end zone. It's six more points for Kansas State. Third and long. Play action fake for, Mer or for Beasley. Throws the ball downfield, looking for Lockett, makes a catch inside the 10, down at the 9-yard line, it's first and goal, Kansas State. George Williams to the far side, they turn, hand it off to Murphy, trying to get around the right side, Murphy did a 5, cuts back, goes, and touchdown, Kansas State, Murphy's second touchdown of the first quarter, Cats lead 34-0. Lehman in motion. Gage turns, play action fake, rolls the pocket to the near side, being chased by Lieber, he's pulled down by Ben Lieber. Lieber's second sack of the year, back of the 20-yard line of the Tigers, lose seven. Gage in a shotgun, back to throw, steps up, gets hit by Fadafehi and goes down. Mario Fadafehi gets his third sack of the season. Jonathan, back to throw on first and ten. Sets, looks, throws the ball deep toward the end zone. Lockett makes a catch, touchdown, Kansas State. Beasley and Lockett hook up on a 30-yard touchdown pass, and K-State leads 41 to nothing. Staggered set behind Milne on second and ten from the Tiger 44. Milne turns, hands it off, David Allen, big hole, 40, 35, Allen, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, Allen dies, touchdown, Kansas State, David Allen goes in, 44 yards out, Cats lead it, 51 to nothing. Twins to the far side, back to throw, Doherty, sets, pumps, throws, pass, picked off, nice shot, Carter, 20, 15, 10, 5, Carter's second touchdown of the day for Kansas State, they lead it 58 to nothing on Missouri. And Vince Sebo, a senior for the Tigers, into punt. He's only had one punt of the year. He had his job taken away from him this year, and he has a punt blocked. It's recovered by Kansas State, and it should be a touchdown for the Wildcats. It is. K-State scored a school record 35 points in the first quarter, while its 66 points were the most ever scored against the conference opponent. One play that worked to perfection throughout the season and against the Tigers was the wide receiver screen to Quincy Morgan. Beasley under center, twins to the far side. Jonathan back in the pocket, setting up the wide receiver screen, makes a pass to Quincy Morgan, 30-yard line, 25-20, 15-10-5, touchdown! Morgan explodes up the field, 38-yard touchdown catch from Jonathan Beasley on the wide receiver screen. Uh, well, it's just, you know, a receiver convoy. It's designed for when the team, everybody coming on the defense, and you have the O-lineman coming out blocking for you. So uh, it's designed to put the ball in our best players' hands, our speedy players. So, you know, it's nine times out of ten, we connect, it's, it's going to be a big play for us. Even more impressive, K-State finished the regular season by outscoring its opponents 208 to 41 in the second half and 108 to nothing in the third quarter. Yeah, I thought, you know, the deep team going in felt like it was a necessity to come back and, uh, and play really well, especially as the seniors last came at home. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a big game for us. And we realized that, you know, if we won that game, we had a chance to win 11 games that season. And, uh, you know, we came out and, and played really well and uh, sent the seniors out like they need to be sent out. And, uh, you know, we did, you know, we did it in fashion. And it was a good feeling. The K-State seniors go out in style. And for the defense, it marked the third shutout of the season and the 13th of the decade. At 10-1 overall and 7-1 and in the Big 12, the Cats tied Nebraska for its second straight Big 12 North Division title. The Cats assured themselves of their third consecutive 11-win season with a 24-20 win over Washington in the Holiday Bowl. Trailing 20-17 in the fourth quarter, K-State engineered its best drive of the season when it needed it the most. Cats drove 92 yards in 20 plays and ate up almost 10 minutes of the clock as they marched 
for the go-ahead score. Beasley rolls the pocket to the far side, looks back to the near side now, guns the ball downfield, pass caught by Morgan for a first down up at the 47-yard line. Nice pass play that time for 22 yards and a cat first down. Well, we knew, you know, that the defense had just made a big play. You know, Chap got the interception and, you know, he tried to take it out as far as he could and, you know, they tackled him at the eight. And so, you know, we knew that as, as offense, we just had to try to sustain the drive for a little bit, you know, we didn't think that we're going to go all the way, make sure, you know, we just be ball secure and things like that. And we knew that, you know, we just had to go out there and, you know, sustain a drive and keep our defense off the field for a little bit. Second down and six for Case. They would have football at the Husky 49. Play clock, at, play clock at four. Beasley checking off. Back in the pocket as Jonathan sets. Passes. Caught by Lockett on his back at the 40-yard line of the Huskies. It's a first down for Kansas State. Second and ten from the 40. Beasley in a shotgun this time. Lazatich off to his right. Twins to the far side. Jonathan takes a snap. Looks downfield. Guns a pass. Morgan makes a sliding catch at the 28-yard line. A 12-yard pickup on the play. And another first down for K-State. Their 19th of the game. With a football to the 24. Beasley's in a shotgun. Twins to the near side. Jonathan takes a snap. Looking downfield. Sets. Looks. Guns. Pass. Caught Wesley for a first down inside the 15. He tiptoes out of bounds at the 14-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup of the play, and K-State keeps the drive alive. Second down and eight from the 12. Eye formation behind Beasley. Turns. Hands it off to Hall. Trying to get to the right side. Joe gets to the 10. Inside the 10. Down about the 8-yard line. He picks up four yards in the play. It'll be third down and four for K-State. This is the 18th play of the drive. It began on the 8. It's at the 8 now at the other end of the field. Beasley in a shotgun. Twins to the far side. There's movement. Washington jumped first, then the cat, someone on the left side of the cat offensive line rocked back. Let's see if they say it was the defensive player coming across that drew the offensive man to move. This one could go either way because it was the defensive player who made the initial jump. Well, if the defensive player gets in a neutral zone, which he did, they're yep. calling a, a penalty against Washington. It'll be half the distance to the goal. It may not be a first down. It may be third and a couple of inches. It's going to be very close where they mark this football at a half the distance to the goal penalty. Big, big penalty. So Beasley under center. Again, they stay with the same formation. Lazatich, the one back off to Beasley's right. Jonathan keeps it himself, pushes forward, has the first down on the two-yard line. Beasley just fought on the block of Randall Cummins up front and gets the first down for Kansas State. 20th play of the drive. I formation mind Beasley on second and goal from the one. Jonathan under center. Long count. Now maybe changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Ten the play clock. Still plenty of time to get the snap off here. Beasley turns, runs the option to the far side of the field, makes a fake, dives, gets in, touchdown! Kansas State takes the lead. What a drive on the 20th play of the drive. Beasley goes in, his third rushing touchdown of the day, and K-State's back in front, 23 to 20. Uh, we were confident that we could drive it down the field. We didn't think it would take that long. Uh, I think it was like 10 minute drive, 20 plays. Uh, we knew we could get in the end zone. Uh, we were confident about it, and the fact that it did take so long, that really helped getting our defense off the field, getting them rested up, and we were just confident out there and going out there and having fun. Then it was up to the defense to secure the victory. As usual, the Cats were up to the challenge. Tuiasa Sopo, play action fake, back in the pocket, has his pass batted by Beisel. Tuiasa Sopo catches it, and then his tackle at the 40-yard line. Fata he brings him down. So it's a pass from Tuiasa Sopo, a catch by Tuiasa Sopo, and a five-yard loss for Tuiasa Sopo. Third and six. Washington's been great. Six of 11 on the day on third down conversions. Back to throw Tuiasa Sopo. Has time. Now being rushed. Throws the ball down. Field pass is knocked away at the last second. Jeremetrius Butler on the coverage on Chris Jurgens who could not pull in a football. Now it is fourth down and 12, and a chance here for Kansas State to close out the Huskies if they can stop them on this fourth and 12. Tuiasa Sopo in a shotgun, twins to the near side. And New Heisel's telling the quarterback, throw the ball deep. Snap it back to Tuiasa Sopo. Stepping up, getting away from the rush, looking deep downfield, throws it downfield. Cats have triple coverage. Ball sales incomplete. John McGraw was there to knock it down. K-State will take over on downs at the Washington 35-yard line as the Cats had that play well covered. And right as the huddle was broke, Marcus Tuiasasopo looked over to his coach, Rick Neuheisel. Neuheisel gave him the sign. Throw the fly route. Throw the ball deep. Sure enough, he did. In the triple coverage, John McGraw was there to knock the football down. And last year, K-State saw a Purdue team drive down the field in the last 
minute and a half of the ball game to take the lead, but this time this defense makes the plays and stops the Huskies with 2.09 left in the game. 